Some breaking news here now. We go to DC News Now. Ben Dennis with a big update in Virginia. Ben, what's the latest? Heather Mark, moments ago, we just got word from Yesley Vega. She was the GOP nominee for Virginia's 7th Congressional District. She has conceded to incumbent Democratic Representative, Representative Abigail Spanberger. Last night, the Associated Press had called this race for Spanberger, securing a third term in the U.S. House. This is a hotly contested race. We have an official statement from Vega and her campaign tweeting just moments ago, calling that this is heartbreaking for her, saying from the bar bottom of my heart, thank you to everyone who committed their time, treasure, and prayers to our campaign. We gave it our all, but came up a little short last night. God is still on the throne, she adds. I want to congratulate the Congresswoman on a hard-fought win as supervisor. She's mentioning her uh, time as a member of Board of uh, Supervisors uh, in Prince William County. Uh, as supervisor, I look forward to working with Abigail in the future. Key uh, piece of information here, Prince William County, where Vega is a member of the Board of Supervisors, is uh, the county of which we were waiting for late results late last night in this hotly con contested race. It is ultimately votes from that county that set Abigail Spanberger over that 50% margin. Right now, the Virginia Department of Elections is saying that Spanberger, I'm going to pull up the numbers right now live on the air, 52%, Vega 48% in this race. It was considered a bellwether for other House elections across the country. Races that are still uh, uh, un, uh, not called for. Several races there, we're talking upwards of 10 different House seats as well. But Spanberger uh, this, is securing this uh, third term uh, in, a, in a, a district that was redrawn after Spanberger uh, was reelected for a second turn. It was primarily in the Metro Richmond area, and some of those counties in Virginia 7th then ultimately uh, were taken out of VA 7, and Northern Virginia counties, including Prince William, Stafford County, the city of Fredericksburg, and Spotsylvania as well. We're going to um, also um, detail a little bit more from the statement. Vega saying, Thank you to my friends and family for your unconditional love, adding uh, at the very end of her remarks to the wonderful citizens of Virginia 7, thank you to everyone who came out and voted and for blessing me with the opportunity to be uh, a candidate, with the opportunity to be a candidate in this race. Notably, last night we were live at their campaign watch party in Woodbridge. Uh, Vega at the time did not concede. A spokesperson at the time said that she would not concede last night. We were expecting a statement sometime this morning. The campaign did follow through just minutes before noon, uh, adding uh, last night that Vega had said that they wanted all of the votes to be counted. Again, these are unofficial results, but the breaking news uh, just moments ago, Yesley Vega has conceded to Democrat Abigail Spanberger in the Virginia 7th congressional race.